Katie, and first of all, the lips, um, a Jessica Rabbit inspired lip tutorial, um, well, like lip look, I guess, an extremely, extremely extravagant bold lip, um, I didn't do the eyes, sorry. I went shopping today, and I ordered some stuff online, and all that fun jazz, and I decided to show you a little haul. Is she back? Okay, I'll go back, just itch for a second there. This shirt's from H&M, it was $5.95, and it has this really cool, like, band up here, and it's just strapless. I don't got much shelfage, so it actually does a pretty great job of just holding everything in there. <laughs> That's a really odd topic to talk about. H&M. I got these really adorable shorts. Probably everyone's not going to be unanimous, unanimously in favor of because they are a little bit different. Um, I saw this article in some magazine that I cannot put my finger on right now uh, about silk shorts. The camera does not give them justice because they are gorgeous. It is really cool, like beachy kind of feel to them, or like resort almost. Um, reminds me of this resort I stayed at in Florida um, last summer. We went to Universal Studios, which is like kind of like Disney World, but it's more like Nickelodeon rather than Disney. Um, and then other things too, like Harry Potter and all that fun stuff, which I actually went to the Harry Potter little land or whatever, Pottermore. No, that's, that's totally a different topic. These shorts remind me of the resort we stayed at, which was the Island Paradise or something like that. I forget what it's called now. But it had a really nice pool. Okay. Back to the topic. They have some purples, some maroons, some greens, and they're really, really cute. Um, I have a big boute, so these are a size four. The sizes do run a little big. Run, what's the word? Run a little big. So even though um, it says I'm a size four here, I'm not necessarily a size four, you know, for in real life. I got a couple messages of people telling me that they don't feel comfortable when I name sizes and stuff. Everyone's different. Every store is different. You kind of want to know, like, when you go to a store, if the pants are going to run big or run small. I like it if someone can tell me that, you know? So, um, H&M, the sizes do run a little bit big. Especially, I don't know why this cute thing is like going undone. These are supposed to be a little bit bigger because they're, you know, silk shorts. And surprisingly, they actually look good on people with a little bit more cargo back there. Um, like, I don't know. You'd think that silk shorts would look atrocious on people with you know, big butts and stuff, but it actually looks really great. It makes my legs look awesome, and I don't have, like, the best legs. $24.95 from H&M. They have them in another pattern as well. I don't know why the zipper flies down. XYZ PDQ. Examine your zipper pretty darn quick. Does anyone else know that? Thumbs up if you have heard that before, or if you use that, and it's, it's not just me, so. This really great beachy top, because I'm going to the beach on Thursday. If I haven't already talked about that, I already did. Okay. And you guys are probably tired of me, but I am so, so super pumped because I need a tan. This is what the shirt looks like. It's kind of like a peasant top. And I was thinking about this just over like a black bikini, like because I'm obsessed with black bikinis. I don't know why. They just, I don't know. They're my cup of tea. This was $24.95. Their sizes are really weird. They don't have like smalls, medium, and large. They have like 4, 6, 8, 2, 0, 11, 10. Honestly, guys, just as long as you are you and you're happy in your own skin, that is all that matters. Numbers don't matter. Just as long as you feel sexy and you feel hot and, you know, flamboyant whenever you're wearing, and that's all that matters. Kind of has these little dot things on it. There's a word for that. Um, but I cannot remember the word at the moment. This is what the texture looks like. Um, it has these really, really poofy sleeves. Um, and there's a word for that too, which I cannot put my finger on again. It kind of goes low, so if I wanted to wear this anywhere other than the beach, I'd have to wear like a tank underneath it. And it is a little bit sheer, um, but it's really great. It's, it kind of billows out around like the bottomish area. So you could probably wear some like skinny jeans underneath, like dark wash skinny jeans, and some nice um, wedges or something. I, I just picture these outfits just coming together, falling together perfectly. So I'm going to move on to the makeup. I got a bunch of NYX or NYX, however, whatever floats your boat, products um, from beautyjoint.com, which has a lot of discount NYX products and other brands as well, but NYX is like my main brand right here. I'm filming a video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love you. Bye. My sister. I'm going to call it NYX. Even though NYX sounds more classy and elegant, I like NYX. They have a lot of discount NYX products on their website, like a couple dollars cheaper, which in the beauty world, in the discount NYX drugstore beauty world, that is a lot, okay? So I've been really into the whole red lip thing recently, if you guys have, you know, noticed around this area. I got a lot of, like, red lip products, which I wanted to start out with. So this is the lipstick, um, and it is in pure red. Looks like this, and these lipsticks, okay, I've never had an NYX or NYX lipstick before in my whole entire life, and these things are so freaking creamy, okay? They glide on so nicely, 
They're way better than the Rimmel ones. Rimmel was my favorite for a long time, but that's what it looks like. And I barely put any pressure at all, and look how pigmented that is. I'm actually not wearing this one right now. I am wearing this lip pencil, Lip Flash by Milani, actually. So it's not NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'll put it next to it. It's a little bit more of a holiday red, almost, because it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And a little bit of a, not a shimmer, but like a sheen, if you know the difference. Like a shininess to it. It's that one. Um, it reminds me of like Christmas time and like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Reindeer had a very shiny nose like a light bulb. Reminds me of Christmas. I also got two lip liners which I've never owned a lip liner before because I've just never thought of getting one. This one is in rose brown which I think was a mistake because I don't wear brown things on my lips but I'm sure this will come in handy one day when it comes into style or even if it is already, and I'm just totally out of it. And I'm sure this will look good blended with a pink or something. I really honestly don't know, but I'm going to put it to use. These are called the NYX Auto Lip Pencils, if you weren't sure. And this one is in hot red because I'm pretty much obsessed with red, as I already described that earlier. This one isn't as hot red as I pictured. It's more of like a pinky red, which isn't like a true red, um, but it's still really pretty. And I'm wearing it as my lip liner right now. Um, that's what that looks like. This is also a red lipstick. And it's an Eros, E-R-O-S. Most of their lipsticks have little, like, goddess and god names, which are really cool. Um, this one looked way, way different on the website, I have to say. So, you know, this wasn't really what I was expecting, but it's still a really great color. And I'll swatch it next to the hot red. Yeah. Eros is on the right, and pure red is on the left, and it's such a big difference. Pure red is more of, like, a fire truck red, you know, like, fire truck, fire! What? Katie is slowly losing her mind. I also got these two lip lacquer pots. My sister and I had a full-blown little, what's the word, debate over how to say this. It is the NYX, or in NYX, lip lacquer. She thought it was lip lacquer. This orangey one, Coralicious, to twist it, and there's a really, really great coral color right there. Um, and coral lips, obviously, are very in. It seems like a really great thing you can just throw in your purse. I feel like I say that about every single product I ever try, but, you know, I like portable little products, and this is really sticky. I don't know why. I can never get those little sticker things off. My dad is this really good sticker remover, and I'm gonna have to use that on these things, because the stickers just do not want to come off, okay? This one is in Simply Red. Obviously, it's red because I'm pretty much obsessed, and... It's just a really great red. I'm not sure how pigmented it is. I'm going to try it out. My sister used it, and she seemed to like it, but who knows? And that's what it looks like. It's a really sleek packaging. It says NYX, and the product name or the color name is on the bottom, and I'll show you. You probably can't read that at all. Then I also got this Milani 3D Glitzy lip gloss, and I remember someone, I think Cerebell 93 x raving about this lip gloss a long time ago. This one's in Vogue. Um, I think she had a different one, like a more pinky one that she liked. And literally, I tried this on before I put on this little shindig here, and it does not want to come off. I mean, like, in the best way possible. With makeup remover wipes, it comes off and stuff. But if you just want to, you know, smudge it, it does not come off. Which is really great, because most lip glosses just slide right off your lips like nothing else. But this is a really great product. And the packaging, as cheesy and weird as it looks, it's actually really, really great and portable, which I like. Then lastly, I got this cream blush, which I actually got one a few days ago in my other haul, the NYX Cream Rouge Blush. This one's in Glow that I already purchased a little while ago. It has some stipple marks in it. I just wanted to show you the difference between these. This one's Glow, and it's a really great pinky, peachy, not even pinky, just pinky color. And the one I got in this little haul, or this time around is the blush in Rose Petal, which Glamorista 16 or Caitlyn raved about this blush, so I decided to go out and get it. I'm actually wearing it right now, but I haven't like really put any thought into it. I gotta just like put it on as a tester, but I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of powders and stuff goes well with this, and I will definitely be talking about this a lot soon. Coming up, coming up on Hello Kitty XO. So yeah, guys, that's all I got in this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and maybe you know, learned about some new products you'd like to try. The link to the website where I got all these awesome beauty products is beautyjoint.com, and I'll put the link in the down bar. Also in the down bar is my email and my blog, if you guys want to, you know, catch up with me in other ways, because I gave up Twitter and Facebook for the summer, and that's just a challenge for me. It's already been a month and a week, I think, exactly. So, you know, I'm still going strong, and that's really all I have to say, so I hope you guys are having a really great night, um, and I'll see you guys all later, so bye! Feel like you're broken and scarred